So welcome back to my garage where I am working on a 91 Acura Integra. Uh, it's kind of a change up from the Camaro. But uh, this is my son's car he just got. And we are going to be fixing a few things on it. Um, he made a list for me uh, to make sure that uh, we got through it. But I'm not just going to fix it for him. We are going to do it together. Uh, I think he needs to learn this stuff for future. So new generation. Anyway, this is Chris. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and on his list of things we need to fix, um, number one is his wipers. His wipers make a very, very annoying noise uh, when they are going, and we are going to fix that. I will show it to you uh, here shortly. Uh, next on the agenda is what? The AC. <laughs> AC? Okay, so the AC works sort of. Um, it doesn't keep that cool, but... It does work. So we just need to charge it up. I'm hoping this thing already has the conversion over to R134A or whatever it is. Uh, if not, um, if it's still an R12, it's going to be a lot of fun. So we'll figure all that out as we go. Uh, what was the next item? And the last thing we'll probably do is the water leak. There's a leak. Okay. So there is a water leak in this car um, on the passenger side. It kind of seeps down this windshield, and I'm thinking what happens is it either gets in through this little ledge right here, or there is a little galleyway right here that's clogged up, and we'll have to look at that. So, unfortunately, it only leaks in whenever it rains, and it fills up the pasture side, and it's quite annoying. It hasn't rained uh, last day or so, so I don't have any standing water to show you, but what happens is on these rubber mats that we have here, it usually fills up a big old puddle, and it does not get the carpet, so that's kind of a saving grace. Anyway, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, first things first, I learned my lesson about the windshield wipers. <laughs> I'm going to bring one down there and get the right ones, and I will tell you which ones to get. Anyway, so off to the store. Okay, so these wipers are real simple. Um, they're just on a hook, so really you just got to kind of push them back off of the hook right here and they're good to go oh I did want to show you um, these are the type of little wedge thing that goes on there it kind of just falls in that little hoop right there and those are the ones we're gonna get so I'm gonna bring this down to the store I learned my lesson I'm not gonna go down there four times and get the, the run around anyway let's go all right, so these are the windshield wiper blades we ended up with this time. Uh, one is a 19 inch, uh, which is on, I believe, uh, we'll figure it out. Anyway, there's a 19 inch and there's a 20 inch uh, for this car. And uh, I believe the 19 inch goes on the passenger side and the 20 inch goes on the driver's side. And my son is actually gonna be the one installing it. Woohoo! Okay, anyway, so, uh, here is the 19 inch one, which I believe goes on this side, which looks right. Um, so I will let you handle it. So basically with this hoop right here, slides in and right in this little hole right here. So we don't want this thing to smack the... So it goes in like right here. Yep. Okay. Can I lift this up? There you go. You got some more room there. Have that up. Slide it in. Clip it into place. And voila, you are done. Wasn't well, that bad? Nope. So let's go ahead and do the driver's side. <laughs> this one's completely different from the looks of it. <laughs> yeah, just make sure when you're lifting up the, the metal rod, the metal rod, when you're playing with the metal rod, don't let it smack the windshield. How do they go on like this? And pop it in. All right. We just pop it in right here. Mm-hmm. You want to slide that thing up? Hmm? Like this? Like 
that. It's supposed to be some sort of lock. Oh. Yep. See? Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and see if these ones squeak now. So uh, get your keys out. There you go. Oh, they don't make that nasty squeaking noise. Now squirt it. Wheeze the juice. Remember how to do that? Yeah, they're clear. Uh, pull it towards you. Hold it. You gotta pull it towards you and hold it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice clean windshield. Okay. Well, let's turn it off. Start the car in the garage. Oh, start the car in the garage. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Trying to kill us. I'm blowing up. <laughs> All right. So uh, next thing is, uh, uh, we have to do is check out the whole AC system. So we're gonna pop open the hood. There are some AC lines, and they're usually like aluminum, um, and usually they have like these little caps on them. And I think that's the high pressure one with the red cap on it. Do you see the red cap? That one? Yep. Is it hot? Be careful, it's high pressure. I don't want you to blow us up. Oh my god. You, you twisting it now? Okay. I'm trying to. Oh yeah, so we, there's, a, there's a high pressure line and there's low pressure line. And we gotta kind of find both of them. Is that the... I don't know. Oh my gosh, what is that? Is that it, Chris? Probably is. Oh my god, it doesn't want to come off. But yes, that, that is it. Oh. Nice. Okay, you found it over before I did, honestly. Well, I, I thought of the red cap and then there'd be a blue cap. Makes sense, right? Okay. I'm pretty sure you know about, more about cars than I do right now, so. I, I have common knowledge of... Uh, common knowledge, okay. Yeah. Common common sense of the, the red and blue. Mm-hmm. The fire nice. Okay. So this car is still kind of hot. Probably because I turned it on. This hose looks ago. terrible. Anyway. It has dust on it? It it's just like it's corroding or something. That's something we'll need to replace here soon. Anyway, I thought he replaced all that stuff. Doesn't Probably. Matter. He knows. Anyway, so what we need to do now is see if this has been converted over or not. And I don't know if it has or not. So I'll be right back. All right, so here is the little kit we bought. And bought some 134A. Refrigerant stuff for the AC. Uh, we did look at the connection fittings uh, on the system. They do have the retro fittings on here. So we are going to assume they, the previous owner did it properly and they loaded it up here. Did you bring drinks for both of us? No, I didn't even bring your drink. You didn't even bring a drink? I didn't even bring my drink. Did you, did you drink the drinks? I drank most of the drink. You drank the drink. The drink, the drink, drink. Okay, the drinks got drink. All right. Okay. Anyway, uh, so this is what we're gonna use to fill it, Chris. And those are the canisters. Mm -hmm. So I need you to like open this up and just pour them in to the system. I. Yeah. So I don't out? think that works. It doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Okay. From my knowledge of cars, I think it's a lot more that's not how it works. It's a lot more complicated than that. So we yeah. don't just like punch a hole in it and just pour it in. Okay. Now we drink it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Are we busy in it? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're peeing it to cool it down. Okay, got it. Anyway, so we're going to open this up, get this little thing configured right now, and uh, we'll be right back. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. We're chasing, leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah No, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways
shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on Okay, so um, what we discovered is on these canisters needed a way to puncture this little deal here. Um, this kit does not come with that. It just has a hose that connects to here, basically. So you need something like this to puncture the can uh, so you can actually uh, get this stuff into the system and do the thing and then make it cool. That sounds about right. Uh -huh. Okay, that, that's the yep. official, the official way it works, right? I mean, I mean, that's, if you read it, that's what it would say. I think. It seems like it would. Yeah. Mm. I mean, pretty official. So uh, next steps are we got to turn this car around so the exhaust fumes do not go in here; they go out there. And I think this will be actually pretty fun to watch Chris turn the car around in this limited sp space he has here. And then pull it in. So, yeah, that's the challenge. You gonna take the challenge? The challenge is the challenge is out there. No, no. Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we. Oh, lovely Florida weather. It sounds like it's gonna rain. So anyway, we are gonna set this down and uh, start that process. We're gonna turn the car around. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this little thing. We're gonna put it on this thing. We're gonna put that thing that isn't resting on the manifold on here. Like so. Hey boys, you might notice that the. The Camaro was back in here because we got that thing to not work and there's a bigger issue, I believe. There's my knowledge. There you go. Oh, we just got learned. Yeah. Chris, Chris knowledge. Uh, That's all I got for you. You're almost like a Chris fix almost. Uh, Chris, I mean, yeah, there's, there's the Chris fix. I, I'm pretty <laughs> sure he would fix it though. Mm. He would have pre-planned it all, had it all fixed. Um, we're not at Chris fix level. Yeah. But. I, if if I knew I was what I was doing, mm -hmm. then I would have planned it. Yeah. 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 Anyway, so uh, we try to charge. We tried to start charge the system. Try to charge the system, and uh, we noticed that the the high pressure line was not pressurizing, uh, even though we were hearing the compressor kick on. The AC compressor is no good. So we are going to have to postpone this for a part two. Um, and we will replace that compressor and I'm gonna have an actual um, AC shop remove The charge in the system and then we'll recharge it um, And go from there. So anyway, that's how you're supposed to do it You can't just discharge it from here. It's illegal blah blah. I'm gonna have an AC company um, Do it and I'll actually probably video it because the gentleman that I go to is really cool um, he helped me with some stuff on my Camaro. Um, so anyway, that is to come. So I will be wrap, wrapping up part one of the Acura build. You can kind of see the car. Uh, the wipers work great in it. It is raining right now, so. Yeah, eventually it'll start leaking in the passenger side. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> that's something else we didn't get done. Uh, the leakiness on the passenger side, water does leak inside. I wonder if it's gonna start anytime soon. Uh, do you think it already started? I don't even think I locked it. All right. Oh, no, I did lock it. See? 
Does it start yet? Uh, it hasn't started yet, no. It hasn't started yet? No. Okay. It takes a little bit. It takes a little bit. Yeah. It takes a little bit of willpower. We're thinking the um, leak is coming from um, possibly the sea over here. Water builds up, leaks in. That is the thought. Not 100% sure, but anyway, we'll have to look at it. But it's only when it's been sitting and it rains and you'll see the water coming in. Anyway, this concludes this video. Uh, if you would like to see some more on the Acura build, and I've been trying to talk my son into doing more performance stuff to it. He wants to get the basic things fixed first. And uh, then we'll talk about all that stuff, like manual swap. Manual swap? No, no man manual, uh -huh. manual swap. Uh -huh. This is almost yeah. the problem with these kids nowadays. They don't know how to drive manuals. Anyway, <laughs> if you like this uh, content with the Acura, let me know. I'm going to have him help me on all the stuff with Acura. And uh, yeah, so until next time, have a good one. Bye.